Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Proverbs a day keeps the enemy away. I know you guys are following our episodes and you should have finished up to Proverbs four, right? And today is the day 5 and we are moving on to and exploring more on Proverbs 5. I would like to meditate a verse from chapter 5. That's the 21st verse. For a man's ways are in full view of the Lord, and he examines all his paths. One more time, I'm going to read Proverbs 5:21. For a man's ways are in full view of the Lord, and he examines all his paths. Wow. Whatever we are doing, wherever we are going, God is watching over us. we can't hide a single secret from god because the verse says that the man's ways are in the full view of the lord it's really strange right how is it possible god can watch over everyone at the same time god can monitor everything at the same time is it really possible hmm. let me try to explain a bit more let me show you something I got binoculars. Will I be able to have a better view? Yes. Yeah, binoculars will help me to have a better view. Let me try out. Yes, I can see things over there very nicely. It is more clearer to me, but I'm not able to see anything there. Yeah, now I am able to see here, but I'm not able to see what is happening over there. I can see things in some way but in the some direction I am able to watch over there but I'm not able to watch everything at the same time then how can God see everything at the same time wow it's really amazing right you know one thing with our human brains with our imperfect brains we won't be able to understand or comprehend fully what god can do let me give you some examples which will make you understand a bit more did you ever watch the honey bees did you ever watch the honey bees colony thousands of honey bees are going into their home we are able to monitor that why because the tiny honey bees when they are going inside and outside we are able to monitor them and study them how the queen the honey bee is working and the worker honey bee is doing what they are doing we are able to monitor them in the in the same time because they are tinier and we got a better view of what was happening in there and same thing and the example did you ever watch ants the small teeny tiny ants the hundreds of ants will be there in one ants hill and in their home the, the the tiny ants will be going inside and outside and but we are able to monitor everything in one go why because we are bigger and we got a full view of their home and we are able to watch over them so it's the same thing from heaven god can watch over all the mankind he got the full view of all our ways so he can watch over us we won't be able to hide anything one more thing i would like to add on god can see outside as well as our inside what is there in your mind in your heart god can see that the people around you will be judging you will be commenting you based on your color your personality the way you talk the way you style up it's based on that they'll be judging you but god is watching you over your heart you may be able to hide your secrets the wrong things you are doing you can hide it inside and act or pretend as the best person in front of others but remember god is seeing us make sure that we got a clean heart in front of his eyes one more time i would like to say that for the man's ways are in the full view of the lord and he examines all our paths remember that always god is with you all and god bless you all bye bye praise the lord proverbs 5 
My son, pay attention to my wisdom. Turn your ear to my words of insight, that you may maintain discretion and your lips may preserve knowledge. For the lips of the adulterous woman drip honey and her speech is smoother than oil. But in the end she is bitter as gall, sharp as a double-edged sword. Her feet go down to death. Her steps lead straight to the grave. She gives no thought to the way of life. Her paths wander aimlessly, but she does not know it. Now then my sons, listen to me. Do not turn aside from what I say. Keep to a path far from her. Do not go near her door, lest you lose your honor to others and your dignity to one who is cruel. Let strangers feast on your wealth and your toil enrich the house of another. At the end of your life you will groan when your flesh and bloody when your flesh and body are spent. You'll say how I hated discipline, how my heart burned correction. I would not obey my teachers or turn my ear to my instructors. Instructors, and I was soon in serious trouble in the assembly of God's people. Drink water from your own cistern, running water from your own well. Should your springs overflow in the streets, lest your streams of water in the public squares. Let them be only thine own and not strangers with thee. Let thy fountain be, be blessed, and rejoice with thy white of thy youth. Let her be as loving hind and pleasant row. Let her breast satisfy thee at all times, and thou ravished always with her love. And why wilt thou, my son, be ravished with a strange woman, and embrace the bosom of a stranger? For the ways of man are before the eyes of the Lord, and he pondereth all his goings. His own iniquities shall take the wicked himself, and he shall be holden with the cords of his sins. He shall die without instruction, and in the greatness of his folly he shall go astray. Amen.